Pretty much the perfect storm is playing out right now for us to retest and break the old all-time high, this time cleanly so we can go on to make new all-time highs. Now there is a piece of news that has just broken that I think might be the catalyst that we are looking for, so we're going to go through that along with some other news that you guys really do need to know. Now with that said, I've been showing you guys my smaller leveraged portfolio here. Some of the trades that I've been doing, we are up a thousand dollars since yesterday when I showed you this portfolio. We have smaller positions. You see the margin here, $22. We have a Doge train here with a margin of $17. That is in $1,000 of profit. I also have a Sui trade here, $250 in margin with $1,000 profit. Su uh, Sui, C, say, sorry, that one's say and that one's Sui. I can't do it. Dyslexia, leave me alone. <laughs> but we got XRP here. Uh, 236 margin with $44 in profit. So these are the kinds of opportunities that you have. My favorite trade so far is this Dogecoin trade. I've had this open for a while. It did start with $34 of margin and uh, look at the look at the reward, 5,800% gain. And I did already take uh, $481 out of this trade. So if you guys do want to trade, I will leave a link to all of the exchanges that I personally use down there in the description. And right now there is over $50,000 of deposit bonuses because these exchanges want to give you these rewards so you use their exchange in the coming bull run so they're willing to give out a lot for that and I personally use these exchanges now if we do jump over to the news today just look at this line so this line here is 900 right this is the amount of Bitcoin that's produced per day this is just BlackRock buying Bitcoin per day this is how much is produced and this is just BlackRock per day buying Bitcoin. Look at this, we had 12,000 Bitcoin purchased on day 37 of the Bitcoin ETF. Of course, this is people buying the ETF and then BlackRock themselves buying the Bitcoin uh, to bolster up the ETF, right? Which is just insane. So BlackRock are literally buying sometimes 10x more Bitcoin than is produced daily. This is insane. And guys, it's not wrong to say that Bitcoin is going to run out. <laughs> it's going to run out, especially when the 900 moves down to 450. And if they still buy, even on a worse day, 3,000 Bitcoin or 1,600 or 2,300, that's still 5x. 2,300 is still around 5x more Bitcoin than is produced daily. It, like it's obscene what might start to happen. And what we are seeing start to happen, I spoke about this yesterday, is we are finally seeing the Google Trends search terms for crypto and Bitcoin pump. We can see here, this is Bitcoin. Let's put it into crypto as well to see how that's doing. And we can compare this. Look, so this is the bull market, right? Now we are about 50%. 50% of the way to the bull market peaks. Yes, we did have this peak here, but that was actually in, if it would ever, like, that was around May time, right? So that was the first peak of the bull run. Then we had the second peak here. So guys, this is about half the way to this region. We're getting there. Retail is starting to pay attention. And remember, I told you guys, once we get to old all-time highs, retail is going to start paying attention again. Yes, me and you are retail investors, but we are the ones that have been here through the bear market. We're switched on. We've been trying to make a bag for years now, and now we are. Now, if you lost money in the 2021 bull run, you are now about to make obscene amounts of gains because you made it through the bear market to now. Let me know in the comment section if you made it, right? Just write, I made it. I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear your stories. Please let me know because I do read the comments. With that said, guys, retail are back. Retail are coming. This is going to make the speed in which we see this bull mark change insane, right? Look at this. Hex, Pulse Chain up 20% respectively. All the altcoins are up. Now, why haven't we seen an alt season really start yet? And the answer is really simple. Bitcoin is just too dominant right now. Bitcoin is where all of the eyes are going, right? Retail investors are coming in now and they're seeing the moves that Bitcoin is doing. So they're buying Bitcoin. The ETFs are buying Bitcoin. People like us are just holding our Bitcoin. We're not selling it. Why on earth would I sell it at just at all time highs? That's ridiculous. So this is why. So people are paying attention to Bitcoin. They're buying, they're holding Bitcoin. So far, what we want to see from this is eventually for us to have a little relaxing period here, a little chilled out period where Bitcoin does that and that that will give us 
our altcoin season, in my opinion. So that's what I'm waiting for here. I have my positions open, both in this portfolio and my other portfolios, ready to see if there's a pop. For example, if Sui, which I believe and say pop, we're going to have a really nice amount of profit in these portfolios just from a small margin, right, guys? So that's why I've got those positions open. I also, of course, have my portfolios, which you guys can track um, by watching this channel. But we have our public portfolios here, Strong Bounce, which is doing incredibly well, up 28% since we started here. But we can see our portfolio like the YouTube DCA up almost 200% here, just $12,000 in profit. So smash that subscribe button if you wanna stay up to date with those. And the news that everyone is waiting for is Tesla buying Bitcoin again. Are they buying Bitcoin again? So some users speculated that Tesla might be buying Bitcoin and could reveal this during the next earning call. And guys, I wanna tell you, I think this will be massive because we're gonna get a repeat of history if this turns out to be the case. Now, Arkham Intelligence added Tesla's Bitcoin wallet tracking feature to its dashboard. Tesla's wallet now holds 11.5 thousand Bitcoin. That's 1,789 more than the 9,720 Bitcoin it reported during its last earnings call. If you remember Tesla's timeline, February 21, they bought $1.5 billion of Bitcoin. If you were here on this channel, I made that video. I was in Ikea in Dubai and I ran outside and it was the first video I'd ever filmed on my phone. I filmed it on my phone and uh, I told you guys this happened. Look at this, Elon buys. I still have this. This is the same chart that I was tracking everything in that bull run. We can see right here. This is where he bought. So we had this big pop, right? We broke all time highs. The market went parabolic and then it had our first real scary pullback. That was 31% pullback. On the way up from that pullback, that was where Elon Musk bought, right? And that from that period, it actually gave us a move of 53%. And in total, the move was 71%. So you see how this news is relevant, right? And to someone who's been in the market for a few years, you might not be too pushed like, in, in, ah, I can't believe Elon Musk is buying. But Someone who's new, these new retail investors that we can see are coming into the market here. These guys weren't around in February 2021. They're new to the market, some of them. They will see that Tesla is buying, Elon Musk is buying, and that might very well be enough of a catalyst for them to go, well, I'm going to go all in, right? And we don't do that here on this channel. We don't go all in. We dollar cost average. We see, we patient, we don't use emotion. But this is what we want. We want people to go, they want, we want people to dunk all their money until the price goes up and we can take profits. That's exactly what we want. And this could be one of the biggest catalysts that we see. Now, of course, a thousand Bitcoin is a lot of money, but not a lot for someone like Elon. So what we'd want is for him to buy even more than this, but we're going to have to wait to see what happens there. Now, in other news like Solana, we did speak about this in my talk with Tyler Hill yesterday. If you want to check that out, there is a link uh, above me if you want to check it out. But Solana tops $150 amid Pantera Capital bid, surge in meme coins, blah, blah. So basically, Pantera Capital want to buy, I think, $250 million of Solana tokens from the bankrupt FTX estate. So that's why the market's going crazy, right? They're going to buy it, which means there'll be less selling pressure because they want to hold it, hopefully. So what, what that does mean in turn is when it goes up, they will sell it just like FTX did. But this might push or kick the can down the road. So people are very excited about that. We also have AI crypto market doubling 25 billion in 20 days. Doubling in 20 days. Insane. We also made a video about AI cryptos very recently. So check that out. And uh, we know that one. And now we've got Gary Ginsler coming out again, talking shit about crypto. Look at his stupid head, man. Come on, leave us alone. No one cares. SEC chair Gary Ginsler cautions about crypto investing, warns thousands of crypto tokens may be securities. Mate, nobody gives a shit. Just leave us alone, man. You have your stuff. You ruined it. You tried to ruin it in the bear market. It didn't work. Just give up. Leave us alone, right? So there's some talk here. Gensler was asked about the classification of Ether, as Ether is a secure euro commodity, as well as the possibility of the SEC approving a spot Ethereum traded ETF. This is what he said. Any one of these crypto tokens is about the facts and the circumstances as to whether the, the investing public is anticipated in a profit based or efforts of others. The SEC chief replied, but we do have ETF, ETH ETF filings in front of us. I'm not going to comment. He elaborated. Come on, guys, we're going to get an Ethereum ETF. And do you really think that we're not going to see this for Ethereum? 
right? If Ethereum gets an ETF, I don't, I don't understand why people aren't way more bullish. Like, as you know, this is the Ethereum Bitcoin chart. I sold a bunch of Bitcoin around here. It then continued to dunk, right? And I was like, oh, I'm wrong. Oh, no, I, I made a mistake. No. Ethereum, in my opinion, is going to pump, right? We're way, we're, we're up from where I was buying. And I've been buying tons. I've been buying tons of Ethereum, right? Because I think that we're going to outperform Bitcoin. The second the ETF news gets approved, right? Last time we had a buy the rumor, sell the news for Bitcoin. Everyone thought it wasn't going to be a buy the rumor, sell the news event. And it was. This time round, we see what happened after the buy the rumor, sell the news event for Bitcoin. It was a buy the rumor a marginal sell the news event. And now we have gone absolutely parabolic since then. People are going to realize that and they're going to buy Ethereum. This is what the retail people are going to do. They're going to buy Ethereum when it's like 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. That's my opinion anyway. And that's when I'll be taking profits. I will have made a significant bag. I bought a significant amounts of Bitcoin in this bear, sorry, Ethereum in this bear market, which I told you guys I was doing. Biggest positions, Bitcoin, Ethereum, along with all the other stuff. But I will be taking profits because that uh, Bitcoin, it, uh, Ethereum ETF news is, in my opinion, going to send it parabolic. And I just don't think people are paying attention enough to what is about to happen. We're also having a perfect storm for altcoins. We can see here, we have, this was our bull flag that we were watching. I was waiting for it to break out. Ever since then, we have been absolutely parabolic for altcoins. We can see we're up 43% on the total three. So we have that. We also have um, Bitcoin's dominance hitting its rejection point again at the 54%, 55% region, pushing down. We want to see this either stay steady or head down. That would be good for our altcoin seasons. We're seeing altcoins kind of break out, kind of have a pullback. Very hard to tell what's going to happen here. But the most important data we have is that retail are back. When retail come back, that is why we see uh, the meme coins go crazy, right? We've seen meme coins for the last couple of weeks go absolutely insane. Look, trending. Jasmine, a coin, not a meme coin, but what we've spoken about. But Gorilla, SHIB, trending, right? Meme coins are at the top of the trending list. Look at these, all of them. Dog with hat, cocky new, one of the one of the old favorites. I have a I have a fat bag in that, and in the last thirty days, it's up two hundred percent. So I'm very happy in that. We got Salama, we got Shiba Inu, we got we got memes, and we got AI. Right, that's what's in the pumping thing. So these are the things you got to pay attention to. And retail who are coming into the market want stuff that is low in price, like they'll look at Shiba and think, oh, it's under a cent or whatever, like I'm going to buy that. So that's meme coins. They want that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, so the meme coins that are on uh, Binance, the meme coins that are on Coinbase, those ones will probably pump a lot. What I'm hoping for Cock Inu is that it gets listed on Coinbase or Binance and that is what is going to send it above a billion dollars, just like it did with Bonk. If that happens, I am going to be dunking all of my Cock Inu. Gone. See you later. Taking the profits. And then I'll put it into something like Bitcoin, Ethereum or something else that I will hold for a, for a longer period of time. With that said, guys, hopefully I did provide you some value, some insights into how I see this market. If you made it this far, I do like to ask you guys a question to see if you've made it. And I really appreciate it. We've been having some good chats in the comment section. I want to know, do you guys have a case on your phone? I've heard that CEOs don't have cases on their phone. This is what, this is what my friends are telling me. I should take my case off. But I did get like this 10% case because I just can't do it. I'll just smash the phone to bits. But let me know, do you have a case on your phone or are you like, you know, you like a little bit of danger in your life? Let me know in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.